plant. Um, I'm also a Lagos based YouTuber for those that don't already know. I think you should know by now. Um, based in Nigeria. And quick disclaimer contrary to a lot of opinions about acne, I just want to settle this out there, okay? People that have acne are not dirty. Please, please do your research. If you have acne, do your research. If you do not have acne, do your research. Because a lot of people assume and think it's because you are dirty or you have a, 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 you're not eating properly. Most cases, even look at most of the acne cases, as a result of hormonal acne. Can we stop saying the phrase drink water and mind your business if you have acne? Because people don't actually know the difference. So, there will be some information going around. I feel like there is and there was. Even at the time where that is why I went vegan and stuff. At the time where I was doing, I was trying to find out what could work for my skin, a lot of people were telling me, oh, try, maybe try and drink more water, some kind of stupid advice like that. And then it's not like they're doctors who, mm. <clears throat> you know, dem dermatologists, they literally have no idea, but they just, people like to give information that is not based on facts. Let's put that out there. It is the truth. Me, please be sure to do your own research. Friend, Google helped me and YouTube especially because some people showed me that there are more things that you know other than acne that look like acne because I noticed that when I was having um, those textured skin, it was not actually acne, and I'll tell you the truth, it was not acne. It just putting up this video for self for people to come and pity me or like people to come and spread hate nope we're spreading spreading positivity on this channel please let people who are going through um, one skin condition or the other get help because i know how it feels i can suggest to you my the dermatologist i use um, you can just put a comment down below and i will give you like the number <laughs> but yeah um as this video already states i'm gonna be exposing myself okay guys so this is how i used to look previously <laughs> why are you running why are you running not everybody knew they knows this about me but i've struggled with my skin for a very long time helpless not gonna lie when i struggled the, like since secondary school year like insecure and i had very low self-esteem i literally basically could not leave my house most of the time i was indoors like when i even dip it now this self isolation is, seems very familiar to me because a lot of the years in uni and also secondary school i would stay at home instead of like going out and turning up with everybody i would there were so many days where i would go through terrible skin and i just felt like well i don't want people to see me looking like this i just didn't feel like i didn't feel like myself because the first thing you see when you see a person is the person's face so i have i had literally no cover up like even if i bought the best clothes basically it's not as good as having nice skin basically like it dealt with me i just think about it in uni like i barely had friends just because I didn't even go out, I barely went out. The only friends I had were maybe like church friends and some uni, like one or two uni friends. But aside from that, I literally that's why my uni experience was kind of not the best. But anyways, I just want to help to anybody that has gone through this. Um, yes, you're not alone. There is a solution. It will work. Hopefully, it works for you if you are dealing with the same thing but it may not work all the things i've mentioned may not also work so just keep trying and keep researching and keep also going to a dermatologist that's the first step always had you know oily and sensitive skin since like since i since like since <laughs> i don't know since like forever i mean since secondary school at least since i noticed i noticed that i was having pimples and i think it was just a regular when I think about it, it's just a regular hormonal pimple and hormonal acne. So just I predominantly had on my forehead and my chin all the time. So somebody suggested that I use skin now. I'm sure everybody if you're Nigerian you know that um, cream. I realized that the skin now basically I would use it 
it will clear my skin up maybe like after two days and then if i stop using it go at like worse than it was before it's okay i actually was becoming dependent on this cream if, imagine if now they stop produ producing this cream and i would just basically be helpless and i tried to get help and prior to this i used a lot of skincare that um claimed to be the work for like acne and all that i remember all the names but they all they know work. i tried some skincare but i didn't really like i didn't at this point when i was in secondary school i didn't really have a lot of access to a lot of skincare products so i didn't really try a lot of skincare products actually it was not until like i got to uni that i started trying so what would happen to my skin anytime i use skin nail or after i stopped using the skin nail actually is that i would have very bumpy skin so very textured but it's not like it doesn't look like acne like big huge spots it just looks like i have a lot of it looks like a rash in a way it doesn't look like a rash but it looks a little bit bigger than a rash there was no space on my skin to breathe it was everywhere I mean, it did not look like acne but everybody would say oh maybe i reacted to something or you know it's probably acne <laughs> i remember that people would always say ah Fike, what's wrong that's the thing i hate the most you guys when i think about it what's wrong with your skin ah have you did you notice that something's on your skin no i didn't wake up this morning i didn't look at my mirror i don't know how i look <laughs> and that thing is to frustrate me when i think about it um people would always like react in a very ins yeah the word is insensitive yeah that's the word that's the word. It made me feel like worse like it's not like i did not know i had pimples and all the stuff on my face it's just that I had tried so many things that it was not actually working. <laughs> I tried aloe vera, I tried dudu, I tried Aztec peeling clay. That actually worked for my hair, but it didn't work for my skin. I tried, what is this, bio, bio, I don't know what it's called, but um, that spin, spin brush that you used to wash your face. I tried, I tried going vegan, you guys, I tried everything. Um, the only thing I did not try actually was retinol. There was a popular acne package thing that people were using. It, I didn't try it because of the side effects and I was scared of the side effects because I didn't want anything that would ruin my, you know, internal, you know, my body or anything. Just because I wanted to clear my skin. I didn't think it was worth it. Fast forward the year, I then realized I needed to go to a dermatologist. So I went to a dermatologist, just like I think after school or something with my mom but i think the person was in a hurry i think it was during closing hours and then the person just randomly they gave me something to use but it basically did not work it was just like one of those other products yeah so holding now to uni uni now it became full bloom so it was at uni that i realized that i was having cysts so it was no longer just the bumpy skin any longer it was more of cysts Cystic acne is basically very painful. It's very painful, very red, very big, and feel the pus and stuff like that. I was basically, I remember that I would always wear a beanie to cover my forehead because it, it was predominantly on my forehead. It was the most painful experience. I'm not able to lie to you, I'm not exaggerating. It was painful. I'll be crying. Sometimes I'll just be videoing myself crying that hoping one day I'll look back on these videos and be like, thank God, which. Now I can say thank God. My face is painful. I will wear the beanie just to hide the pimples. It's painful. I went to my school clinic and they suggested something that actually worked for my full bone acne. It was called Duac Gel. I used it for three weeks, I think. Yeah, three weeks. So they, I was instructed that I would put it in the fridge and then I'll put like a pea size on my hand and then rub it on my face in the night. So. I did that for like three plus weeks and then I noticed after like two weeks I think that it started to kind of it kind of go wash uh, before it got better so done it actually cleared up my skin was good then after a while <laughs> then I tell you this my journey is long after a while I realized that skin was going back to the way it was um, this time like the bumpy rash looking thing that I had on my skin before it was not until I came back to Nigeria I went to visit funny enough the same dermatologist 
But Shad, the dermatologist basically said I had something called seborrheic dermatitis. And but this was a, I think it was a younger doctor, anyways. Basically, as a result of over overproduction of oil, mainly your skin produces oil, but mine overproduces, and basically, you know, it, it also has like the production of oil leads to an increase in yeast. It has nothing to do with my eating habits, guys. All my life, I thought maybe I was dealing with acne and all that, but is anyways. He just said that it just happens. It just happens to some people. That I prescribed basically something called hydro cortisone cream and I also use this soft hey soft salicylic three percent of it and apply it twice a day a pea size of this cream every night if I'm not mistaken it contributed to it my skin getting better but there's something to me I feel like Loki God is the one that made me actually just have better skin the fact that I actually went to this dermatologist before and they gave me something similar probably and it didn't work I don't know but he was like oh just so you know this is not going to cure it there's no cure for it for seborrheic dermatitis you just have to keep treating it <laughs> I was like, I was shocked at what I was and I did I really didn't want to take his and take like I really didn't want to take take that as an answer because oh I should just be treating it once in a while. In my head I was like no, I buy back to send that I bind you. When I was not born this way, there's no way I should be dealing with something like this that randomly came from nowhere. Or because I kept everything for you guys so that I would tell this, I would testify of the goodness of the Lord. I won't say that this this these two things help me. He also suggested something called cell sun shampoo, medical treatment for dandruff basically and he said I should use it on my face. A little drop, like a couple of two drops or so and I should use it twice in two weeks and then I should stop using it and then he said that I will possibly see like a difference. So I feel like this helps me a lot. I know it's a shampoo but I use it on my face and also my scalp. I use it on my face and my scalp and I noticed that this really helped me. It cleared like, I think in a, a week or two. Once it cleared, I would randomly just pop. When I realized like my skin may be looking or feeling funny, I would just do this and do it like for a week. It would just keep my skin as babe. Generally, I feel like it was really good because for the dermatologist to say that, oh, I would have to be treating it very often and be on medication. I have completely stop using all these products that I'm, I mentioned to you. This is why I think it is God's plan for me to have good skin at this point in my life. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below. Yeah. So I use this every morning for my face and every morning and night. And but the thing that works for me for this product is that I always dilute it because it's kind of a little bit too harsh for my skin. I told you like my skin is really sensitive. So I dilute it with water and when I dilute it, it basically just works for my skin. Like it just it does what it's supposed to do, which is just clean my skin. That's what I use. I don't use any other thing. I don't use any toner. I don't use natural products. I don't use nada. Yeah, that's my skin journey. If this has been helpful in any way, please like, share. I know somebody needs to see this video so share it to somebody and yeah peace and love